Welcome to Thunder Valley. Come on. Thunder Valley would like to say thank you very much to Mr. Eddie Mecca from Laverne and Shirley, the big ragu. Eddie, did you have a good time here? I had a lousy time. Of course, I had a, <laughs> I had a great time, man. It was, it was like, what am I, a king? You treated me like a king. I, I feel great, man. This, this is great. It's and, so, and, and this, this place is, I want a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful place. I love it, man. Yeah. Listen, Laverne and Shirley, how many years? Eight years. The big ragu. That must have been a great time uh, of your life, and still today, because everybody loves you, everybody recognizes you, everybody knows who you are, Eddie. Yeah, I, I, I love it when people recognize me, and say, I don't like it when I got spaghetti hanging out of my mouth and say, "Will you take a picture with my kid?" You know, I'm busy right now, but. No, it's, I, I enjoy it. I, my mother said, enjoy it because if they recognize you, you did something good. Right. Which is, some actors don't like it when, hey, you know, hey, I'm not that guy, you know. I'm an actor. I'm not karma. Yeah, I am. And if you recognize me as karma, then I, I did something good, so thank you, you know. Yeah. So, as Charlton Hester would say, uh, actors don't know how to say thank you. Well, hey, you're karma. Thank you. Absolutely. You're a song and dance man. Here you are, you had a chance to get on Laverne and Shirley. Did they help one another? Did it help one another, if you know what I mean? Uh, when I did Laverne and Shirley, um, I, was, I just came out from New York. I was nominated as Best Actor along with Joel Gray, Robert Preston, Raul Julia, John Cullum. And I wow. came out and, and I, I was out there three days and, and some um, casting lady looked at me like this I said, what are you doing? She said, well, I, you know, actors are like products. If I don't know my product, product I can't sell you. Wow. I said, so what are you doing? She goes, well, I'm trying to see what you look as a product. I said, why don't you just give me a screen test? And she said, uh, Sonny, it doesn't work that way, all right? If I can't sell, if I don't know you as a product, I can't sell. I said, listen, I heard you were a real ballsy lady. I thought we could do business. Thank you. I shook her hand. I left. She goes, whoa. And she called her girlfriend at Paramount, and they were having lunch, and her girlfriend was a casting lady, and she said, uh, we're, we're, Laverne and Shirley were two characters on Happy Days, and uh, Fred Silverman had seen them and said, we like these two girls, let's do a series. We need a third character, sort of a, a wise guy, like Fonzie, uh, a protective character. She goes, I got a guy that just walked out of my office that said I was a ballsy lady. She said, bring him in. So the next day I went in, and uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, I, I did a reading, cold reading. Right. I didn't get to see the script. That's what they called cold. And 9 o'clock that night, I did a screen test along with, um, I don't know, 30 other Carmines. And the next day, and Cindy didn't want to do the show because she just, just did American Graffiti. So they were auditioning Shirley's. So the next day, um, uh, Penny called me and said, Eddie, we got a job. And, and, and then Cindy decided to do it at the last minute. So bada boom, bada bing, you know? And now you're on the road. I mean, I don't even know how many nights a year. And you're doing Grease. I'm doing Grease. I'm stuck in the 50s, I, which is okay because I love the 50s, you know? It was a simpler time in our lives. Things were much cheaper. A hot dog was, a, you know, with 25 cents. The gas was 30 cents a gallon, you know? Um, it was an innocent time in our lives. I want to. I want you to share a Frank Sinatra story because you know what? We had Larry Minetti here. Larry Minetti shared a Frank Sinatra story. I shared a, fair, a Frank Sinatra story when we did Magnums together. Share a Frank Sinatra story because it's a classic one. I, I was doing uh, the uh, Jerry Lewis telethon, and uh, my manager was Frank Sinatra's manager, and uh, my my manager brought me over and said, "Hey, Frank, uh, this is Eddie Mecca, my my new client," and he said, uh, "Hey, Frank." This is my new client, Eddie Mecca. Eddie Mecca, Frank Sinatra. And he turned to me and said, hey, hey kid, uh, get me a Jack Daniels. So I, like an idiot, I went and I got him a Jack Daniels and came back, he gave me a hundred dollar bill. That was my first paying gig with Frank Sinatra. Wow. And, and then I went upstairs and I sang, well, because we were doing the Jerry Lewis telethon at Caesar's Palace. I went upstairs and I sang, they got monitors. I came down and said, and Frank said, hey, kid, you got a great voice, man. Give me another Jack Daniels, will you? <laughs> I guess I, <laughs> I know. 
Well, listen, when the chairman of the board even says hi to you, it's something. Fly me to the moon and let me dance among the stars. You. Hey, we love having you here at Thunder Valley. Thank you so much, Mr. Mecca. My pleasure being here. You notice I called you Mr. Mecca. I know. Okay. So I should call you Mr. Get. Hey! Here at Thunder Valley. Oh! that easy to win at Thunder Valley. I'm at a ma- <laughs>